Today in our tradition from the commander of the faithful for 110 lessons for life, we want to look at the best of provisions and supplies that one can carry with him or herself. Now we know before we start with the tradition that whenever we go on a vacation, whenever we go on a trip, whenever we go away from home for any period of time, we tend to want to pack things that we would need at our destination whether that be clothing or our uh, gadgets or the currency of the country or a map or some, something that will help us along in that trip, in the journey and also in the ultimate destination. And because we know this from the life that we live of this transient world, what if we take the same example and superimpose it upon the life of the next world, that life to come? Here is what we see the commander of the faithful in this tradition that we want to look at today is explaining to us of how we prepare for that next trip, that permanent trip, that trip after which there is no return back to our home because that will be our permanent abode. In the tradition for today, the commander of the faithful says the following short passage. There is no true goodness in any provisions from the temporal world except for the provision of God consciousness, taqwa. We are told that this tradition was spoken after the Battle of Siffin when the commander of the faithful Imam Ali, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, entered back into the city of Kufa. Uh, the Battle of Siffin was a very ferocious one in which unfortunately uh, Muslim fought against Muslim or rather Muslims, the side of Amir al-Mu'mineen, Imam Ali, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, fought against individuals who claimed Islam, who claimed to be of the followers of the message of the Messenger of Allah, the Prophet Muhammad, may God's peace and blessings be upon him and his family. And we're told that as he entered into the city of Kufa, before he made his way to the masjid, the mosque of Kufa, he passed by the graveyard of Kufa, and he stood at the head of the graves, and he spoke to the dead about what happened, what he had seen in this battle of Siffin. He talked to them about the challenges, he talked to them about what happened, and then he made a statement. Those companions, the living who were around him, were looking at the Imam, what is he doing? And he sat quiet for a few seconds, and then he, re re he turns to his companions and he says to them that if I was able to, uh, or if, you know, if we had the ability and the time, we would give, have given the permission, obviously through the permission of Allah, for these dead to speak to you and to tell you that for them, what they have now understood that the best provision for the next life is that of taqwa, of consciousness of Allah. Meaning that he was telling the dead of what happened, of what, you know, the, the battle, and now he's telling the dead that, you know what, let us know what you are finding on that side. And that, as he, was, he says in, the, in, in a tradition which is a follow-up, he says that they would tell you that taqwa, this provision of consciousness of Allah, is the best provision that a believer can actually have for him or herself. And this actually, these two uh, sentences of the commander of the faithful, which are found in Nahj al-Balagha, are actually a representation of the chapter, of the verse of Surah al-Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse 195, in which Allah says, وَتَزَوَّدُوا فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ زَادِ taqwa." Allah says, so then prepare yourself, pack your belongings, and he says, and indeed the best of provisions that you can pack for this, for this journey of the next life is that of taqwa. So the commander of the faithful is basing his words on the verse of the noble Quran revealed to us by our supreme creator. Taqwa is a very important trait that believers have to really think about and reflect upon and study and try to implement within our lives. The reality of taqwa is what we could refer to as an internal uh, mechanism, an internal police force that will govern and control our lives. It's not enough to only have external forces to protect us and to keep us away from sins. Uh, many times we will hang out with the right people, we will be in the proper gatherings, um, we will surround ourselves by, by religiosity and people of religion to protect us. But we can't be around such individuals 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And therefore, in addition to outside forces to help and safeguard our faith, we also have to realize that we need to have an internal mechanism to protect us. 
to keep us on the right path. And this is what we call taqwa, the consciousness of Allah. That it is an internal mechanism, an internal force that would keep ourselves in check and that we would not transgress the boundaries laid down to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We close with the final understanding of this tradition from the Commander of the Faithful, which is an explanation given to us by the sixth Imam Jafar al Sadiq, may God's peace and blessings be upon him. When he read the verse of the Quran where Allah says, Yawma la yanfa'u ma'dun wa la banun illa man atallaha bi qalbin salim. On that day when neither wealth nor children shall benefit anybody, and the only thing which will bring a person benefit on the day of judgment is the one who comes to God with a sound heart. The sixth Imam has been quoted as saying that the sound heart is that heart in which not in anything other than Allah is not present within it. And when, any, when everything has been removed from the heart other than Allah, this love of power, the love of wealth, the love to or the passion of our lower desires and all of these things, when these are you know, removed from the heart and only Allah is there, then as we're told in the traditions that this is the heart that has taqwa, the heart that has a consciousness of Allah, the heart that will ensure that every action which is performed is for the sake of Allah, for the love of Allah and ultimately for the pleasure of Allah. And when we reach to that level of removing everything other than Allah from our hearts, we can say to be of those of taqwa, those of consciousness and awareness of our Creator within our lives. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.